Hey guys, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the three most important aspects of a high converting listing. So before we get started today, please consider subscribing by clicking that subscribe button um, down below and hit that bell notification so you know when I bring out new videos. And let's get right into it. So the three main, the three main things that um, allow allows your listing to convert really well. Well, let's get right into it. So thing one is the images. The images are, in my opinion, and based on our testing, the most important. Ooh, it's a bit bright, isn't it? The most important. Um, uh, is the most important part of a listing because think about it when you go shopping um well when you go shopping you're seeing the item you're trying on the item but when you go internet shopping what, what what's the first thing you look at is it the images or is it the description or is it the reviews generally it's the images because even if the reviews are great and the, and the description is great if you don't like the look of the product then who cares it doesn't matter anymore you've got to get past liking the look of something before you then go on to seeing the description and then seeing what other people thought of it. But there's no point seeing what other people thought of something that you don't even like the look of. So I think images are the most important thing and um, try and take images like this. You'll see them pop up all over the screen. Um, try and take images like that um, because you want them to look as professional as possible. Just, just, as if, just as if it's like a proper shop. You want your Amazon to look like a proper shop. So that is number one. Number two is sort of like two things in one, and that is the title and the price. So I've bundled them together because they're just, they're very similar. Um, so the second most important thing is the title and the price. And the reason for this is when someone searches for your product on Amazon, this is, well, besides the first main image, the next thing they'll see is the title and the price. They'll also see how many stars you have, which is important. They'll also see the, the reviews, but we'll get to that later because that's, that's the third thing. Um, but the title, so you want a title that has a lot of keywords and that explains what the product is and make sure it makes sense, right? You don't want a title that is just keywords. So if you're selling leather wallet, oh, if you're selling a leather wallet, you don't want the keywords, you don't want the title to be leather, brown. You, want, you don't want the title to be leather, brown, wallets, men, RFID, um, six slots, because that's just, that's just a bunch of keywords, that, that's, that's not a good title. You want a title that makes sense, but is also keyword driven. And the price is so important because the price, if if everyone is selling it for 10 pounds and yours is listed for 40, well, well actually that could do one of two things. One, it could get no traffic because no one's gonna click something that's 40 pounds, or people might click it to see why is this one 40 pounds and all the other ones are 10 pounds. So you could look at it like that. And um, the only answer to pricing is to test. So for example, with our product, they're all priced at about 15 pounds. So we sell ours for about a pound less than everyone else's. Um, I know, competition, what can you do? But, um, and then when we're doing a boost, we'll, we'll sell it at cost price. And then we want, when we want to make a bunch of more money, we'll sell it at more than everyone else. So price is something, there's a really weird noise going on right now. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Um, anyway, the price is something that you have to keep changing. Can you hear that? Hey, right, whatever. All right, number three is reviews. Now, yes, of course, reviews are important. If your product has one star review, uh, average of one star, you're not going to get sales. Trust me, I know. Um, reviews are very, very important. Well, it's gotten really bright again, nice. Oh, it's never bright in this country. Um, reviews are very important, which is why in my previous video, I spoke about getting 12 five-star reviews to kick you off. So really, really try and get reviews. And there are a few different ways to ensure that you get good reviews. One is you do a follow-up email um, service provider thingy. So um, you'll see in the description, there's a Feedback Genius link. You can sign up. Um, I will make a video on Feedback Genius, but that's basically when someone buys your product, you can then email them, uh, you then automatically email them. Um, so we automatically send three emails. And in the third one, we say, can you please leave a review? So that's one way to get reviews. A second way to get reviews is to leave um, a slip or some sort of paper in your product packaging. Get try, get the get your supplier trying to do this for you and ask for a review. Give twenty five percent discount, yeah, twenty five percent discount on your next product and ask for a review. And also, just good customer service. You should be getting good reviews. On average, it looks like, on average, it looks like you get about one review for every hundred sales, which is crazy. Um, we like to try and 
narrow that down by doing all these other methods in order to get reviews. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please give it a thumbs up. Um, my phone's going crazy. Please give it a thumbs up if you did like it and leave a comment below if you have any other questions about any of those topics, reviews, images, description, pricing, any of that sort of stuff, anything about anything, just leave a comment below and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.